friends and family, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, bienvenidos. My name is Joanna. Nice to meet you. And please consider subscribing and joining our wonderful fusion family where we're all about good food and diversity. Last week I asked you guys what recipe you're most curious to see and a lot of you wanted to know how I make tacos de papa or crispy Mexican potato tacos. These are incredibly easy to make and they're considered to be a real comfort food in many Mexican families. I'm going to be leaving all of the ingredients, measurements, as well as substitutions down in the description box. But before I continue rambling off, let's get started. I'm going to begin by thoroughly washing some russet potatoes before peeling them. I like to peel my potatoes before boiling them because it makes them easier to mash later. To further speed up the cooking time, I find it helpful to cut the potatoes into smaller pieces. I'll set these aside and continue doing the same to the rest. To a pot with boiling water over medium flame, I'm going to add the potatoes followed by some salt. Then I'm going to give it a mix to distribute the salt. The salt is going to season the potatoes as they boil. Cover the pot and set a timer for 20 minutes. Once the potatoes are fork tender, I'm going to strain them well before transferring them into a mixing bowl. Then I'm going to add some cotija cheese followed by some butter before giving this a quick mash so the butter and cheese melt while the potatoes are still warm so they can become well incorporated. Then I'm going to season this mixture with some ground cumin powder, some garlic salt, then lastly some Mexican cream which is going to give the potato filling a nice creamy texture. Then taking a potato masher I'm going to mash this until the potatoes have a nice velvety like texture that's not too chunky. For this recipe, I'll be using corn tortillas, but a tip I learned from my mom is to make sure the corn tortillas are warm. The reason for this is because if I use room temperature tortillas, they'll be more likely to tear in half when folded over like shown here. While warm corn tortillas like the one shown here tend to be more flexible and are less likely to tear. I'm going to take about two tablespoons worth of the potato filling and place it in the center of the warm corn tortilla and spread it halfway across before gently folding the opposite side over. Then using light pressure, I'll use my fingers to distribute the potato filling as evenly as possible. Once I'm happy with it, I'm going to set the taco aside and repeat this process until I run out of the filling. From a few simple ingredients, we have a lot of potato tacos. At this point, these freeze extremely well so you can place them in the freezer or refrigerator at this time to use later. I'll leave a few notes on how to do this in the description box in case anyone is interested. But for now, I'm going to heat some oil over medium flame. The oil is hot enough to fry with when small bubbles form around a wooden spoon like shown here. Then I'm going to add a few of the potato tacos being careful not to overcrowd the skillet. Allow these to fry for about a minute or two on each side. After a few minutes, flip the tacos over so they can continue to fry evenly. Cooking times will vary depending on the heat of the oil, so it's best to keep an eye on it. Once both sides have fried to a lovely golden brown, remove them from the skillet and place on a napkin lined plate to absorb any excess oil. Continue this step until you've fried your desired amount of tacos. The combination of the crispy exterior with the warm, soft, savory potato filling make these tacos incredibly addictive. You can serve them alongside a few different garnishes. In our home, we like to serve these with some Mexican cream, a bit of shredded lettuce, followed by some cotija cheese, a few slices of fresh avocado, and topped off with some homemade red sauce. These crispy potato tacos are considered to be a comfort food for many Mexican families and are so simple to make, yet packed with so much flavor. I hope this recipe inspires you to give them a try. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to join our wonderful Fusion family. And for video notifications, don't forget to click the little bell icon that looks something like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Suerte! Curious? Curious. Curious. Fry? The airplane. Still going.